सहनो भक्तो सह वीर्यंकर तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिदिषा वह ओ Krishna is a, such a personality, had a tremendous influence on music, dance, sculpture, philosophy, religion, uh, in politics, in every aspect you take, he had a tremendous influence. no other personality would have had so much of influence on all these aspects such an you know impressive one always takes time for people to realize not easy to recognize and once the recognition comes the same story will be retold same story will be told by the next generation same story will be told by the next generation same story will be told by the next generation so generation after generation they will be speaking the same story and when they are telling that retold telling the same story always there is there are things gets added to it things gets modified to it things gets deleted to it all these three possibilities are there so when we are studying personalities like rama krishna and all that the problem we find is this to what extent it is factual to what extent there is some corrections changes that that are happened we have no idea none of us can Deep, 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 define it and say this is what it is. So actually, Krishna, you know, he gave one kick, and that buffalo flew, and it went away from the atmosphere, and it is still floating in the space because the kick is so strong. And what was his age? He was. Eight months old. Now this is. This doesn't seem to you know uh, make any sense to all of us. But at the same time, today we are not able to dismiss that also, saying na chumma la na nothing has happened like that. We have no idea. Oh, you know. So when you are reading these things, you got to. understand the context of who has been doing it what has happened over a period of time the story has been told many times to people so when they say that same story these possibilities are there we can't deny that that doesn't mean the entire personality is just a fictitious character because a fictitious character cannot be having impact on so many aspects you see harry potter james bond this is a fictitious character there is no 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 one called james bond you see but it's just a character we had no that in those days we used to have the com- comics phantom they have been about 48 generations phantoms were there now which phantom is standing in front of you you will not know because all of them will look alike all phantoms will look same you find it difficult to and that phantom today has no 
next generation is not getting that impression you see it, it is only with reference to that comics harry potter stays only with that com comics the mo 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 movie and the person who acted as harry potter is not able to get a footing in the in the in the market because any character he comes we see him only as harry potter full stop we are not able to anything other than that but we know for certain that harry potter is a fiction there is no character actually there is no person actually there can we say krishna is like that no, not 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 possible we can't say krishna is not a man happened at the same time we are not able to digest when they say the stories the particularly the portion of bala leela after krishna becomes an adult and all that whatever has happened you know uh, he 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 abducted rukmini and married her this not a problem for us to understand because we do see that happening any anyone who has that capacity will do it yes. there is no problem and what is interesting is it's not a love affair right krishna doesn't know the existence of Ruk rukmini rukmini had never met krishna it is not that they had met they have been in contact for some time and then the family has arranged you know something else not like our you know bo 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 is very you know we see this that is not there one day krishna gets a letter one of the powerful letters she writes rukmini writes a letter to krishna at my house has arranged a swayamvar for me and you are not going to attend that swayamvar i know if you attend that swayamvar i can choose you because that is a freedom we had if they had at least you know swayamvar would be held where the princess will decide whom to marry you are not going to get the invitation because my brother doesn't like you therefore he had refused to send invitation when you are not invited you are not going to come if you are not going to come i cannot so choose you and i have already chosen to cho cho also you in my mind i have heard a lot about you so what you have to do is is this before marriage before going to the swayambhara mandap i am supposed to come to a temple devi temple i am supposed to go and to that devi temple only ladies can go men cannot are not allowed so no one will come there so i will go, come to the devi temple you wait outside i'll come with you we will we can go take me to dwarka we will get married there the entire plan is rukmini's plan she gives entire blueprint she gives if you are not there all that she says is if you are not there i will not go to the swayambhara mandap at all yes, that this is all she writes very simple reading that letter krishna decides to go not with the entire army he just goes with two three fellows you know some of his friends go along with him balrama says take the army because that fellow will come to obviously there will be war you know, there will be fight oh, so he says no 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 not not required this is my personal one i'll handle it you don't worry about it yes. he goes he he goes and waits there imagine anyone rukmini had never met krishna krishna doesn't know rukmini anyone who comes out of the temple and comes and sits in the chariot krishna is going to assume rukmini. that is rukmini and anyone who is standing in that is going to be considered by her as krishna now what is the 
you know, very peculiar one you know, situation where he goes and and then of course as as expected the army comes they come to fight with krishna and krishna fights with them and then he wants to kill her her brother rukmi then finally she says no 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 he is my brother anyway don't kill him so he shaves off his head and sends him that's the you know is considered as one of the most humiliating thing to be happening to a to a man to you know shave off their head is the worst thing to happen humiliation he will eat and sends him off that's all this story we will not have any issue right this story we can we can accept correct possible sir you know that shows what is the the that is a man a man means that's how he should be when a woman says i am going to be with you he should have the courage to take a stand state is saying i am there for you if he is not able to say that he is not this we can understand yes so oh, suddenly you go to the to the the problem most of us will have is the bala leela another problem we find with krishna if at all any any one who has to find a difficulty in accepting krishna is immediately they go to mahabharata where how he manipulated he is criti- highly criticized for his manipulations that he had to do with this one and then we have to see you know, the moment you go into politics we have to understand certain things if you are not having those ideas diplomatic the de- de- decisions has to be taken and certain diplomatic de- de- decisions a layman will never be able to reconcile how can you do that even when you know when we in india had that uh, you know new new nuclear bomb they said immediately this un sanction us sanction that's it india is finished now now we will not be able to function at all nothing no money is going to come what is going to happen this is going to happen that's going to happen that is a critical de- decision suddenly they decided that we will have all public sector units suddenly the government decided now we are going to open up the market you see some decisions any decisions you take pol- you know politically you are going to take certain decisions you can never have a decision which is all correct have you ever seen any budget getting 10 out of 10 no budget will get 10 out of 10 which means what there is always a section who is going to say what of it what is for us then here what is for us here we are disappointed we didn't get anything we didn't get anything we didn't get anything some disappointments will be there so one section is always going to say it is wrong another section is going to say it is is the correct decision to be taken so one group will justify another group is going to critic any decision you take now we have this this thing like we say how can rama banish sita we have seen that when we had discussed it you know, or rama i say today if we can accept a man and woman can divorce and we don't discuss that in public platform imagine a person decides to divorce his wife or a wife decides to divorce her husband we can't have a public debate on that immediately that fellow will stand up and say what 
none of your business correct who has given us the right to discuss and debate whether rama did is right or wrong forget about what he did right point is who are you to decide that who are you to discuss itself that forget about your decisions you are supporting rama you are critiquing rama is not the point that is after i say the very first step now when we are discussing we need to have this clarity first when you are analyzing those people when it comes to political decisions diplomatic decisions there there is there are lot of factors are involved we cannot take only one one factor and come to a conclusion it is multiple factors now when you say multiple factors immediately the problem will come which factor has to be given higher priority over the other which is finally boils down to opinion is it imagine there are five 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 factors to be taken into consideration now immediately we ask the question sir in that five what is the order how do you going to organize it saying this is number 1 this is number 2 number 3 number 4 number 5 never we are going to have all five equal this is what i keep telling people see any time you discuss remember our understanding of life is very different from how they see life we understand life priority means we think immediately it has to be hierarchical 1 2 3 4 5 this is how we see how they see is 1 2 3 4 5 there's a world of difference vertically to see 1 2 3 4 5 is different from horizontally seeing 1 2 3 4 5 what is the difference in this is horizontal this is vertical vertical means what which is higher which is lower horizontal all same all same only thing is a different 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 points now we can never understand in this fashion all are equal or all are invalid either all are equally valid or all are equally invalid this understanding of us coupled with this questioning ability of us to go into challenging actions of krishna how can he do this krishna knew that karna was actually the elder brother of uh, yudhishthira pandavas he knew that so so what is he supposed to do hmm? in the and the first day itself because what we need to understand is you need to have some basic reading of the story krishna comes in the story of mahabharata krishna character appears when just before the interval in the movie just before the interval is where he is appear not before that because mahabharata story starts from shan 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 antunu bhishma chitrangata vichitra virya dhritarashtra pandu then kauravas pandavas then the pandavas education kauravas education after their education they live as prince and then there is a suddenly there is a discussion of making yudhishthira the prince 
right to be appointed as a prince because that's a that is how it is supposed to be given according to those rules in those days and then they have been taken to the wax palace burning of wax palace they flee from the wax palace they live in various villages finally they come to this dra 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 upati swayamvar in that draupadi swayamvar is where everybody is sitting in that is the time where krishna appears in mahabharata till that point krishna's character was not introduced by then krishna has fully grown by then krishna has already built dwaraka city is not even you know living in in uh, uh, athura he has shifted to dwaraka city by then all that has happened so krishna has fully grown by then right by that time what is the time karna gets introduced mahabharata during the convocation convocation of this pandavas and kauravas that is where karna comes in and then and there itself karna becomes the friend of duryodhana already all these things are happening here and krishna is not in the scene at all hmm already well established friendship already there is a anger against arjuna for karna i would i would not even say anger i would say jealousy karna was jealous of arjuna same way duryodhana was jealous of yudhishthira generally against the pandavas particularly against yudhishthira so both these jealous fellows are together obviously we are friends why we are very good friends because we have a common enemy as simple as that that is how we operate politically no he is your enemy i am not giving examples right isn't it this side neighbor that side neighbor are very good friends why they are very good friends not because there is anything common between the two what is common between the two is the fellow standing in between so he also against this country he also against this country therefore these two countries becomes good friends obviously that doesn't mean they are very good friends and people always praise you know friendship means it should be like duryodhana and karna i say foundation itself is wrong hmm? i say you, you give reference of you know sudama krishna there is a meaning you know friend for friendship you know karna duryodhana na friendship example na looks it you know, very weird for me why is because the base itself is wrong the wrong foundation so krishna has much much before krishna can interfere interfere with the family get introduced to the family because after draupadi swayamvar only krishna tells balrama i think that is bhima and arjuna he suspects he is not even sure about it he suspects and tells let's go and see so after all the fight and commotion and all that is over these two fellows were going back and draupadi quietly goes back along with them and krishna and balrama are going behind those people to find out who they are what is this two brahmins they, they appear like brahmin but no feature of brahmin in them you know because they know because these two fellows were sitting in the you know brahmins were all sitting together 
in the you know in the middle of them they were sitting gen general public you all know the story you know there is a there is a uh, com com competition everybody failed and all those things this is very interesting you know another story is pandaran karna wanted to come and Dur Dur draupadi said i will not marry a suta putra so she refused one one version there is another version is there actually draupadi wanted to marry karna only there is another one she had a secret love of you know karna is there i don't know from where these people are getting that's what the beauty that's why i said you know the same story is told again and again various versions comes up and in this versions now we, because two you know conflicting contradicting ones which one you are going to take draupadi is not saying anything ye vyasa bharata if you go she doesn't say anything karna fails he also goes five finally karna comes because everybody is waiting and that's the most interesting part first duryodhana tries he fails then karna goes and tries now what is interesting to me is now if karna is not interested in draupadi he would not have ventured him. if duryodhana is not interested in draupadi he would not have ventured him. both of us will try if anybody gets one nakka now what sort of a friendship is that how they are having an idea of the lady because that same lady is going to be called as my friend's wife weird one for all of us you see this is what i'm saying but politically when you take when you see this is how it works you see because there it is not just a two individuals marry it is two countries so the whole perspective is different if you if you interpret it in a very narrow manner it looks very ugly it's you know so low you pull down the character of duryodhana you pull down the character of karna not only these two along with that you pull down the character of draupadi also so everyone who comes there she has to believe what will he will he and all that but finally karna comes and he tries and he fails when karna failed drupada got scared because it is a problem now he has already announced the competition either he should have said my wife my my daughter will will select or else some prohit will organize the wedding now this will all chose the third path third path is you fix a competition whoever wins the competition will get it if nobody wins sanyasi that's only option after that you can't say we will tone down okay we will change the fight now it looks you know so redundant this is now what to do then what happens in the rules of the game is after if all the prince all the kings attempted and failed means then it will be thrown open to the general public anyone because it is a it is a competition it is thrown out open to the general public anyone can come that is a time arjuna stands up and says i say why arjuna stood now because he is brahmana in the guise of brahmana in the guise of brahmana he is sitting there but arjuna knows he is not a brahmana no then why he stands up Krishna told him. No, no meeting has happened between Krishna and, and Arjuna. These fellows are sitting there in the corner, and they are in a different position. They are in a di different position, and Krishna is not going to compete. He is not. He is not going to come into this battle at all. 
because the relationship between Draupadi and Krishna is very di dif dif different. So he is not going to interfere. Now what to do? There are two reasons we give. One, as a Kshatriya, Arjuna is not able to see the defeat of a Kshatriya. You see, look at the predicament of that king. It's such a humiliation to the king. Imagine no one won the competition means it is a humiliation to this Kaun Banega Kuropati. Imagine nobody has won. It's going on for 10 years. Nobody has won means will that be a hit? Impossible. Within one and a half years or so maximum, one person should win that one crore. If he doesn't win that, the show is a failure, remember. Forget about him. Amitabh Bachchan would have lost. Yeah, simply they are making it, yeah, they make it complex. Make it complex. They give, you know, all these things, they ensure that you will not win. What will happen to the show then? So, it, it is a, the dignity of a, a, a princess is at stake. The king's dignity is at stake now. As a, as a Kshatriya, he is not supposed to take it. He is supposed to give a support. That is the rule of it. So, he shoulders. He says, don't worry, I will come and rescue you. You don't worry about it. One. Not only that, there is one more reason. Who told him rescue him? He feels that. It's not that nobody has told him. That is the understanding. These things are all natural one to have. Because it is, because he knows what is the situation, what is the mental, mentally what is happening to Drupada, he knows that. Right. Now what to do? He says. Not only this one, another aspect we have here is Arjuna by nature, what is he? Archery. His specialization is not that he doesn't know how to fight with a sword. It's not that he doesn't know how to fight with a spear. He knows all that. You know, and not that you know Arjuna doesn't know how to fight with the maze. He, he knows all that. But Arjuna's specialization is what? Archery is his specialization. When he sees a competition in his field, how can his hands keep quiet? It's not possible. It's like if you are a dancer. The moment music starts, what will happen to your body automatically? It, even if you resist, you cannot. Beyond a point, you cannot. When he saw everyone losing, he understood where those guys are making a error. Everyone goes, Arjuna knows in the beginning itself. From the walk he knows, from the way the fellow is taking the bow he knows. From the way he is holding the, the arrow, he knows. How he is focusing, he knows. He says they are making mistake here, making mistake here, making mistake here. When he is seeing all that so clearly, his, his instinct will not allow him to be quiet. So what he does, he comes up. He, he enters the fight and he fights. Even then Krishna has not spoken to Bhima or Arjuna. Right. And finally he, it is, you know, Balrama and Krishna were the one who pacified all the kings. They say, look here, now what else to do? Because everyone started grouping amongst themselves, started wanting to fight with Drupada. Because it's a humiliation. Imagine one Brahmin fellow from, you know, from the street. 
a fellow comes and he wins the competition and goes now it's a humiliation to all the kings no and such a competition you have fixed so they started fighting with drupada immediately krishna and balrama are the one who comes and supports drupada you know all those fellows they say please peacefully you go because there is nothing foul game you fellows who are given a first chance you you didn't get it now what will you want him to do automatically the thing will be thrown open that's the rule of it now what to do you guys could not win the competition so quietly go back they go and after that bhima and arjuna they go to their place behind them draupadi goes and krishna suspecting something about these two fellows because they don't look like brahmin at all look at that the features uh, sheer physique you can make out they are not you know so they have to be this arjuna or bhima is to be let's go and check they come krishna sees kunti and what is interesting is he prostrates to her kunti and kunti blesses him balrama and krishna they prostrate to kunti being a brother yeah aunt no aunt. she is krishna's aunt Dr. kunti o kunti kunti so he go he goes and he prostrates and he, that's the time they are introducing then kunti introduces yeah this is my elder son krishna this is bhima this is arjuna this is nakula sahadeva you yeah, know and that's the first time krishna appears in mahabharata after that only he is getting to know what is happening after that he is building a good rapport and good relationship with the pandavas imagine suddenly during that indraprastha establishment one day krishna comes and tells kunti you know the son that you lost that is karna karna actually your mother is kunti what would be the reaction of karna oh krishna you, is it really true uh, yeah check out no give it for a day in a test now how how he is going to take it karna is going to give only one answer what is it don't try all this things i know i have lost my mother because i lost my mother don't come and tell me as though i am kunti san thereby i will become part of their thing so you are scared that i will kill arjuna you are scared you are worried about arjuna i will win over arjuna i am better than arjuna i am more powerful than arjuna you are scared of me now you are trying your luck through my weakness this is how he is going to react he is not going to react in any other man so how on what basis we give this complaint that's the point you say now like that we we have to see one by one all the complaints that we have against krishna i am not saying all that he did is right or wrong now before you go into that discussion first we have to understand the backdrops all the decisions of his all the discussions of his needs to be studied not in isolation isolatedly you cannot take one and see yes we need to look at the situation in totality in totality if at all we have a complaint we have a complaint on what means what happened in the war apart from that either we will discuss what krishna did as a child 
Balalila, we will quit, 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 rest in. Or immediately people go to Mahabharata war. In between, have you ever seen Krishna being criticized? Jarasandha has to be killed. The only way to kill him is how? Tear him apart and throw him in the opposite direction. That's the only way. And Bhima doesn't know how to do that. Now someone has to tell him, no? Otherwise the fight is going to continue forever because the Russell, the, the fight between Jarasandha and Bhima was happening for 28 days. You have seen, no, this uh, boxing, 10 rounds, 11 rounds. Wow. You see those fellows, 11 rounds. 11 rounds which has happened only for about one and a half hours also maximum. 11 rounds will go for one and a half hours. Maximum I'm saying, I don't know. Can't be like that also. Now here, 28 days. And in that 28 days, Bhima has killed Jarasandha many times. But he comes back and attaches. Now what to do? Now what are you saying now? Okay, what is supposed to be done? Right? They have, they have a job to do, no. Somewhere down the line, Bhima has to get that understanding of what? I am tearing and leaving. Tearing and leaving is not enough. It has to be. You have to do something more than that. I don't know on what basis we say that is wrong. In boxing also, who is fighting actually is this fellow. But the coach is standing no, next to him. Correct? Is there, no? They come and tell, isn't it? What is, what is going on? So there he, now I am not saying that he is actually, as the fight is going on, he did it. That's not what my point is. I think somewhere down the line, Krishna would have realized Bhima is not registering what is happening. So maybe he would have told him, you know, after the fight. And killing Bhishma. Now, what other option you have? You take you, you give a bed, bed, better alternative. Hmm? Before you criticize, that's why I like this idea. I don't know whether in India we don't do it. You know, when the ruling government is giving a but but budget, the opposition also is supposed to give a but but budget. Oh. Imagine. Opposition also has to give a budget. Then let us debate. What will happen? Opposition will give budget how? Hmm? Opposition's budget will be what? This many ration cards we have in the country. All ration card people, all those people, all the bank account will get 10,000 rupees. This is how we are making people rich. This is what they will say. Why? Because from where you are going to get that money is not their problem. You see, opposition will demand only give more. Give more is what the opposition will say. Yeah, give it. No, what is your problem, man? He says. The so, yeah, opposition person says, he gives, you know, everyone will get 2,000 rupees. 2,000 is not enough. 5,000 should be given. Okay. From where you are going to get that extra 3,000 rupees? Give me a plan. No. To get that. That is not my problem. That is your problem. That shows how. You know. That, that doesn't require intelligence. You see. Your intelligence has to be. Factoring in all the things. Bhishma is a person who is standing there and fighting for what? 
Doesn't Bhishma know that what Duryodhana is saying is wrong? The stand of Duryodhana is wrong. But then Bhishma is standing there and fighting. And we know for sure there is a boon given to Bhishma. What is that? He will not die till he asks for. He wishes for. He will not die. And now when he wishes for, does it mean Chai. it's better to die man? Not, not, not in that sense, please. And then how buff he will die like. It's not like that. He puts conditions also. You should have completed all that you can do and there is nothing more that is needed to be from you. You are not needed. All that is given is given already. I don't want to continue anymore. That is this. And what is Bhishma's story? Is a long time he has to live. <coughs> the curse. The Vasu's curse is there. Because of that he has to be. Correct. Then we have this fellow has a boon. Which means what? Even Krishna wants to kill him. He cannot kill him. Because the boon will come and stop it. Then there is a this Amba that lady had taken birth as Shikanti and she is the one who is supposed to be the cause of the fall of Bhishma and Bhishma and Shikanti cannot fight. Why Bhishma says, according to me you are not a man, according to me you are a woman only. I will not fight against women. And the problem for Shikanti is that the Shikanti is, he is also he is a, he is a warrior, but his arrows doesn't have the strength to penetrate. Even if Bhishma is not paying attention, that happens. On the ninth day, it happens. Shikandi goes and calls Bhishma for fight. And Bhishma says, I can't fight with, with a woman. Go. I, I, I will not fight. He is not even paying attention to her or to him. Okay. Now, Shikandi is shooting. It's not that Shikandi is not shooting. Shikandi is shooting the arrows. But the problem is what? It's not penetrating. It's like, you know, giving good massage to Bhishma's body. He says, good that you are giving a good massage. Now, now what to do? This man is not going to stop. And he has made, he has told Arjuna, he has told Duryodhana what? You want to win over Pandavas, no? I will not kill the Pandavas, but they will not have army. Barring their five fellows and his kid and their kids, everyone will be wiped 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 out. Then what to do? Automatically, if you are not having an army with you, only five fellows are going to fight with the entire bat battalion or what? Not possible. So obviously that means what? Pandavas have lost the battle. Then what they have to do? Go back and collect further army. Again come back. Again Bhishma is going to do what? Again same story. Bhishma will say what? Don't worry, I will not kill the Pandavas, but I will wipe out the entire army. And Shikandi will be standing there again. Again shooting arrows. What is that arrows going to be? It, it doesn't have the... It is not even able to wound Bhishma. Shikandi's arrows are not having the power to even do that much. Now what to do with it? The only option is what? And the treatment for a man of such a valor is to give him the dignified death, death actually. 
he should be defeated by someone who is of that caliber imagine krishna makes a magic and says uh, shikandi's arrows he gives power to shikandi's arrows and then those arrows goes and penetrates na that looks very that's not the dignity for a kshatriya like bhishma he has to honor that dignity of a warrior like bhishma that also needs to be counted now those who critique don't consider all these things i'll say uh, so what as far as they are concerned death for kshatriyas death is not who is killing me matters and they feel proud also i am getting defeated by someone who is stronger than me and they feel proud about it and not like these days not like today army i'm not saying any anything less please today army if you are injured immediately you are taken out of the bat- battlefield those days that's not the case if you are injured what is the case lie there only and die but you will not be transported till the war ends or else they have to announce war is ended after the war is ended you would be given treat, treat, treatments till that time no hospitalization taking you to the sur- 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 surgery there is nothing doing if at all anything to be done all those things will be done in the battlefield only what medical facility you can create in the ba- battlefield hmm? nothing can be done they have to stay there and die that that is why bhishma did not move out he just lied there only and what did you know uh, what he did to what is this dronacharya he told you know yudhishthira to lie he said so what he said so what so if you are going to criticize krishna for lying there is only one man who is qualified if you are a harishchandra you can question krishna if there is a conversation between harishchandra and krishna harishchandra can question krishna how can you lie man you lie but you didn't lie you asked that fellow to lie cut that you know you are really very bad i tell you this can be told by harishchandra ha huh? you and me cannot be saying that you know one mobile phone call comes you see the phone and say what i am busy i'll call you later and put the phone down and continue watching the match many times we don't even take it and we say what why why because we know why that person is calling and we don't want to have an un- un- unpleasant things now therefore and we have our own justifications no for you not to take that call or to give an answer like this he is busy i'll ask him to call you back the wife has to take the call and say hey, take the call and tell him i'll call him back is finished why no because he knows what what is the call is going to be for <laughs> and then you say how can you distra lie hmm my point is so what you know so what if 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 drona is going to take a stand that if ashwatthama is dead i don't care what happens to my loyalty to duryodhana there is no gratitude at all if at all you say it is because of the gratitude of he had towards duryodhana he is standing there and fighting the battle my son died 
then what he should have got? He should get more angry. Isn't it? You, you, you just imagine, no. My son is dead. In a battle, anybody can die. One. Number two, very interesting one. Ashwatthama has been already given a boon that he is going to be a Chiranjeevi. And, and, and Drona knows that. My son is a Chiranjeevi. And suddenly we see this man is somebody comes and says Ashwatthama dead. First thing he has to do is what? First reaction of father has to be what? Huh? He should run to the spot, no? Hmm? Imagine, he is such an attached father. He has a tremendous attachment to his son. Correct, I agree. Yeah, first reaction of his has to be what? He hears the news. Is it true? What, if, what is a natural instinct? Okay. Natural instinct has to be to go in search of his body. Where is the body of my son? That's what he is supposed to do. This fellow doesn't do that. Right? Imagine, because Krishna doesn't know how, how Drona is going to react to it. He doesn't know. He has no clue how, how Drona is going to react. Krishna asked him to say this only for what? To put a break because before that Dronacharya started sending Brahmastras towards the battalion, towards the foot soldiers. He started killing them using those divine astras. He got so furious. Drona went to that extent. That is a time they didn't know how to stop him. Now, these Saptarishis go and tell Drona. They, they, they appear. That is the story there. These Rishis go and tell Drona, you are a Brahmin. How can you be sending these astras on these people? Food souls, how can you fight? You know, you wanted to send, send it against Arjuna. Send it on 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 uh, on Yudhishthira. Fight with those fellows. You can't be you know directing it on these people. You know it's very wrong. This part of it we don't see. Now he he refuses to listen to those rishis also. Drona. First of all, what he was doing is not correct. And even after telling by those great masters, he is not willing to listen. Now what to do? Now, Krishna's idea need not be actually killing Drona. Because Krishna's idea would be what? If he hears the story that Ashwatthama is dead, first thing reaction of any father will be what? Oh my God, run there. Correct. Number one. Or number two, what he will do? If he is a attached father, he will do that. If he is like a furious father, what he will do then? Who killed him? Next question he will ask is what? Who killed? I want to kill that fellow. That he should have said. Correct? Look at that options. Now we can't say Krishna knew all these things. What, what you know, uh, Drona will do. If, if you take that stand, then Krishna is all-knowing. If Krishna is all-knowing, we have no business to question any of his actions. But that's not the way we are seeing. 
we are seeing krishna as a man now in that situation what is an intelligent man is supposed to do a man with some buddhi what what he will do man of wisdom what how he will operate he wants to put a break that break has given a a great opportunity to think suddenly drona took a a stand which no one expected because natural reaction in the battlefield will be these two if he is a brahmin internally if he is a brahmin fellow first thing he will do is what ayo he will run attacks to father i mean Bra- brahmin not in the sense of a the definition of a brahmin i meant not normal man if he is just a normal fellow he will run towards his son if he is a man of ferocity he will run towards if he is a man of a kshatriya internally sir na he will run towards the one who killed him right he should have started fighting with big 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 bhima instead of doing that suddenly he chooses to drop all the weapons which means what i am fighting because of my son is alive if my son is not going to be forget you see it's like as long as i you know i have a child i will do business and create this that and all those things my my son passed away what what i will do close down all my big business now you know has no meaning you see that is not the way life goes if that goes means what you continue your work man but here the problem for him was what if aswatama is not there i am going to stop all activities i want to renounce i don't want to live anymore drona suddenly took a stand of that extreme extreme step stopping completely all these things and wishing for death i said die if that's what you want and that is a time this fellow drishtadeva sees an excellent opportunity because as long as drona is fighting mode because drishtadeva is the one who is supposed to kill drona right it is already prefixed he is supposed to kill again drishtadeva also is not having that much of caliber to kill him defeat him he doesn't have the caliber now what to do right so then what about what he did to karna now those who discuss what krishna did to karna nobody discusses what karna did to krishna you see before that before his chariot wheel got stuck in the ground arjuna's chariot gets stuck in the ground and krishna jumps and out trying to pull it out when krishna is attempting that karna shoots arrows on krishna that is why next time karna's we get stuck he tells salya like krishna did to arjuna no you also do to me salya says krishna is not a king i am a king i suppose you all know that krishna was never a king you see krishna is not a king rama was a king krishna is not a king krishna is a king maker he is never a king actually yes. krishna is a local fellow he will not, he will get down and do all this work but don't expect a king to be doing those things i agree to 
ride this chariot only for because Duryodhana requested. But I don't, I did not sign up for these things. If the tire flat means I, I, I am not going to get down and you know, fix the tire for you. Yes. That is not my job. Yes. If you can do, do. I don't know, he says. Krishna knows because he is not. I am not a person. How, uh, do you know how to change the tire? Terima, Imagine the driver says no. Wow, what, what, what will you do? You have to be standing in the road or what? So what to do now? You have to get down and take the thing and see what to where to fix, what to do and all that. No. That's what Karna was doing. Because Sanya says, I don't know how to do first of all. Even if I know, I will not do it. Right? Because Sanya was his you know, charity. You know. And because Sanya doesn't know, which is, which is justified. Because Sanya was a, it's a king. How do you expect a king to know how to fix the wheel? How do you expect him to know? I don't know all these things, man. I don't know where to fix a jack. You should know where to fix, no? The jack. If you don't know where to fix a jack, the car will break. You should know how to do which one to be done first, which one to be done second. You know, all that you should know, no? If you don't know the steps clearly, you will not know. He says, I don't know all these things. Even if I know, why will I dirty my hands? My hands will get dirty, man. It's a, it's a king's hands. King's hands will not do all that. Krishna will do all that. Why? He is black. So even if it gets dirty, you can't make out. But I am a fair fellow, he says. But then we criticize Krishna. Because that is exactly the conversation, actually. It's not mine, please. It's actual conversation. Krishna says, shoot arrows on him. Arjuna says, how can I shoot an arrow on him? He is just trying to change. He said, die. Ten minutes before what that fellow did. When I was changing the, I, when I was changing the wheel, what that fellow did? He showed me, no. That you didn't care, eh? he says. That is correct, is it? If that is wrong, then you shooting arrow on him is also cannot be yeah. wrong. No? If he would have stopped, he said, okay, let Krishna pull the chariot out, man, and then we will start. Wait. I will wait till then. Or, even if Arjuna would, uh, Karna would have continued shooting arrows on Arjuna only, not on, uh, not on Krishna, there is a chance of having an excuse. Fellow, nothing. He shoots. This part of it is not referred. See, I am not trying to justify all actions of Krishna because he doesn't require me to to be his, you know, lawyer. But before we comment, before we critic the personalities is of that caliber, which could have an influence of over 7,000 years of 6,000 years in a culture, in all aspects, you should understand what should be the caliber of the person. See, those two generations back whom we considered as, you know, minus them countries, nothing. Two generations later, we are having a very different opinion on them. Just in two generations. Hmm? Those whom we considered as, you know, the greatest of personalities, today we treat them as what? It's nothing. But here is a character which has, has happened or it should have been lost in the time. There are some 
there are great masters as good as Krishna but not known how many know them how many of them know their stories how many are not in details I'm saying at least a general story of, of them what has happened what is his birth what is this what is that nothing we know but this man is the one who is survived all that how can we just simply pass a comment particularly when you are going to be passing a negative remark see before passing a negative remark factor in so many things and when you are factoring in you should know which version you are going to factor in the version of the story you say that that that, that is why i said if you want to understand krishna you have to study three books you have to study minimum requirement hari vamsa mahabharata bhagavata all these three books you have to study after that only we can go in for when you are reading those things if at all you see any retold stories remember the retold one can never be treated as an authority that can never be the authorities remember that if I tell the story of Harry Potter will you take Ishwaran's story of Harry Potter as authority or J.K. Rowling's writings on Harry Potter as authority which version you will take maybe I will have a far better poetic expressions far better things I can even have claimed that but still if the way I have characterized this versus how she had characterized if there is a conflict which one you will take as a authority we have to take only that so in that sense we have to take the version of provided by these books the books which are given out as a original text Mahabharata Harivamsa Bhagavata. And fortunately, all the three were written by Vyasa only. So it's not even three different authors. It's the same author. Gives that material. So take all these factors and then come to a conclusion. Remember all the points. The context, political plus you have to see the actual events and don't think that Krishna knows the future before in hand he doesn't know he has no idea but unfortunately in Krishna's case it's very difficult for us because time and again he displays certain miraculous things he does which we are not able to reconcile at all suddenly he shows a Vishwarupa suddenly sitting in Dwaraka he sends Sadhis to Draupadi how all this is possible you see how he is able to manage all these things that's where the power of these, these masters is, you know, suddenly they'll switch over to a situation, switch over to a frequency, which we can't relate. And then they come down to the plates, normal behaviors, start behaving. Suddenly they switch over, suddenly they come, suddenly they come. 
beyond our capacity. Before you think, remember all these factors and then analyze. Hari Om, thank you.